My story starts off the coast of South Padre Island, Texas, in the Gulf of Mexico. I was on vacation with my best friend's family, and we decided to rent a guide for a day of open bay fishing. While the others were landing catch after catch the whole day, I was struggling to hook anything we could keep for dinner that night. Seeing this, the guide taught me a trick on where to cast based off the appearance of the water's surface. I thought to myself, is this really going to work? All that I have to do is outsmart the fish? Is this even possible? Hesitantly, I set my shrimp bait on the hook, cast my line, waited a few seconds. And sure enough, I hooked my first fish of the day. As I brought it to the side of the boat to be netted, I caught a glimpse of the Florida Pompano I had successfully hooked. It was then that I realized that I wanted to learn more about these animals. I was inspired by the fact that individuals like our guide that day have dedicated their lives to understanding the ways of the fish in our seas and streams. We took the pompano home and ate it for dinner, and it was one of the best tasting fish I had ever had. From that day, I wanted to know more about the fish. What was it related to? Are these common in this spot? How old was my catch? Fast forward seven years to where I am sitting in college as a junior in biological sciences, picking out my classes for the spring semester. I came across the word ichthyology on classes I could use towards fulfilling my major. Unsure of what the class was about, I looked up exactly what that meant. As an aspiring zoologist, I figured it was in my best interest to dive into the world of the fishes. Because I have had no previous education on the fishes, other than what I have learned on my leisure before this class, I was worried I would be behind. However, I have learned a great amount of practical identification and zoology skills through this class. This is only the beginning of my story as an ichthyologist.